Hey, we're talking to Major Dusty Cook with the uh, U.S. Navy Blue Angels and uh, Dusty, welcome to uh, Barksdale Air Force Base. Oh, hey, it's good to be back. Yeah, I've been here quite a few times. I've spent a lot of time out here in Bossier City, so I, I'm familiar with the area and this airfield. So. Well, you know, there's a, a big air show this weekend coming up, and you guys just uh, flown in here. Where, where did you fly in from? Well, uh, Pensacola, Florida. Yep, uh, Panhandle, Florida. About an hour, an hour and 15 minutes. So how long did it take to, to, to fly from Pensacola to, to Louisiana? It, it was about an hour and 15. We took our time getting over here. Uh, it, it was a good flight, nice and clear. I know that the weather system moved through here. We were in Fort Worth uh, just a couple days ago, and it was getting pretty cold. I think it's a little, uh, a little unusual to be this cold this time of year, especially in Texas and uh, this part of Louisiana. But it was, it was pretty smooth all the way here, an hour and 15. Now, how long have you been flying for the Blue Angels? Uh, this is my second season with the team. So I got there in uh, 2013, uh, June, July, that area. I had a, a school I had to go to. Uh, after that, I got on board, started doing my own training, and then uh, we put last year behind us. It was a really good season. I had a lot of good times, made a lot of good friends, and now we're just starting off. This is, you know, almost the month of May, and we got plenty of show season in front of us, so we're having a good time. What are some of the requirements to, to, to fly one of these to become a Blue Angel? Well, it all, it all depends. So we have a lot of pilot positions here, and we have a lot of support officer positions. Uh, some of the requirements we have, we actually leverage a lot of the fleet experience. We have hour requirements, flight hour requirements. Uh, we have some uh, uh, like tactical uh, expertise that we look for, either in the air or on the ground, and experience is really what we're trying to do. Is we're trying to get that proper representation of the fleet from the fleet here. So when we get to come out and meet people like yourself, we have a, a pretty good cross-section of uh, the United States Navy and Marine Corps to pass on the experiences and the stories to to America so they can continue to want to learn and find out, like, what is it, what does the Navy and Marine Corps do for me? Uh, how do they help our nation? And so they can come to us and then we can point them in the right direction for the people that actually have some very detailed stories of you know, day to day serving the United States of America. Defenders of Liberty Air Show this uh, coming weekend here in Bossier City at Barksdale Air Force Base. Uh, what kind of formations are we going to see the Blue Angels do? Well, you're going to see, uh, for, for one, you're going to see Fat Albert fly, the big C-130. Uh, we'll do our, uh, our typical tactical maneuvers there, and we'll max perform that airplane. Then you're going to see the Delta formation. That's all six. That's one through six on the jet. Uh, they're going to break apart into two in the earlier part of the show, and it's going to be the diamond formation, one through four. That's where you'll have uh, Boss flying the lead jet, the left and right wings, and then the slot formation, which will be tucked up underneath the one in the, uh, or sorry, the uh, two and the three jets. Uh, you're going to start to see those guys flying. Uh, those guys flying really close formation together. Uh, they'll be as close as 18 inches apart. Wow. Uh, sometimes they'll get a little closer. We're going to work that down to the end of the season. Where we're going to get closer than that. They're very stable platforms. Uh, they'll be doing a lot of aerobatic maneuvers that, uh, that we've been practicing very hard at. And then you're going to see our number five and number six pilots are our solo uh, lead solo and opposing solo do a bunch uh, a bunch of opposing maneuvers. Uh, and we'll give you the kind of sense of like. The, uh, it's, it's excitement, it's not necessarily dangerous. We practice to do this very safely, but uh, fleet aviation is inherently dangerous. We're gonna do some things that are gonna make it look like it's kind of, if you wanna say death-defying. It's really not, it's a lot of parallax. Uh, it, it's gonna appear that way, but it's very safe. It's, we've trained to a very high standard, and they're just gonna try to excite the crowd. And then they're gonna put it all together. They're gonna bring one through six together, and they're gonna show you what it's like to fly six airplanes in close formation, uh, do some, rolls, loops, and then a lot of, uh, you know, kind of merging maneuvers. It's going to be a lot of fun. People that haven't seen it before, or like yourself, who saw it a while back, there's going to be something new for everybody. Yeah, it was back in the mid-60s, late yeah. 60s in Texarkana. Last time I remember seeing the Blue Angels, and I uh, always enjoy everything you guys do. And uh, I know you're looking forward to the air show this weekend. Absolutely. And a little bit about the uh, plane itself. Well, these planes right here, this is, uh, we fly the F-18 Hornet. Uh, we've got some A models and some C models and a couple of D models as well. The D models are the two-seaters. Uh, I'm not going to talk them up too much because these are kind of the workhorses right now, the Navy Marine Corps. They're doing great things overseas. And the, uh, the weird part about the team, a lot of people think like, hey, this is a brand new airplane. Uh, this is actually not. This is uh, kind of hand-me-downs. Hand-me-downs right before they're recycled, they're put on a stick somewhere and retired. So we get the uh, kind of bottom of the barrel, if you will. We will fly every last hour out of these jets to make sure that we use them right before we put them away. Uh, they do very, very well, uh, but they wouldn't do very well if we didn't have the people that we come here with, and that's our maintainers. We have about 120 to 130 of the, the best sailors and Marines uh, to actually fix these jets because of what we do and the, the stresses we put on the airframes. 
things break. It's just like having an older model car that you put through the ringer. It's gonna, something's going to break, you're going to need to fix it, and that's why we bring the guys with us on the road. So that's a little bit about these guys. And then we've got uh, Fat Albert, who's built in 1991. It's a C-130, probably one of the most dependable airplanes that uh, the you know our air forces have put together. Uh, right. Lockheed Martin built, just been around since the late 50s, and I think it's going to be around a lot longer. And that's that's a workhorse right there. Always trying to keep parts of the people right behind these guys so they can continue to fix them. How fast will one of these fly? Well, we usually go anywhere between 300 to 400 knots. It depends on what maneuver. You'll see number five though, he'll actually, uh, he'll be just below the sound barrier at 0.98 Mach. He, he'll, he'll be doing over like 700 knots. Uh, so it's it's going to be a lot of fun. You're going to see a lot of speed. You're going to see a lot of slow flight too. That's, that's something characteristic about this airplane. Because of them landing on aircraft carriers, they got to fly a lot slower. Uh, you'll see some really awesome maneuvers where their slow speed flight is uh, it'll, it'll wild the crowd. Has there ever been a maneuver that you tried to, to do but just couldn't do with one of these? Um, <clears throat> myself, no. I know people have their own, their own uh, uh, I guess, specific goal that they want to try to train to. That's always the one that's giving them a little bit of trouble. Uh, I don't have one myself, but I tell you, like these guys do, and they work at it really hard. And at the end of the day, I think they, they put up a really good demonstration, and they're really proud of what they've done. And they, if it's bad, they just put it behind them, and they go to the next day trying to you know, have the perfect demonstration. One last question: When uh, when you're flying up there and you're doing your turnaround, how far do you normally go? Uh, I, I typically don't go out of three miles, uh, but we have a what we call a temporary flight restriction that's around the airfield, so no airplanes airplanes are allowed to come in when we're performing, and that's out to five miles. And all the maneuvers are kept inside that five mile ring. Fantastic. With the Defenders of Liberty Air Show, yeah. it's coming up this weekend. Uh, Dusty Cook, Major Dusty Cook with the uh, Blue Angels. Thanks for talking Come to on us today. Out. Yeah, it's going to be a good time.